Sometimes you can show your side of something, doesn't mean you change someone's opinion, but with humor. So if you show someone a documentary that's clearly biased, people are gonna, oh, well this filmmaker just, you know, this is the lobbyist paid him to do, you know, these different things. But humor is a very effective way of getting people to kind of let down their guard and maybe for one moment entertain something, whether it's their own fault in something or just seeing something in a different light. Yeah. yeah. So that's one thing. Here, you know, here's, it's funny, this is a blueprint for storytelling and it's not quite humor, but it, what, what's great about really great storytelling, if you think of, and I've used this as a model in some of my movies, to kill a mockingbird to me in so many ways is like brilliant storytelling. And, and, and I'll explain pretty simply why, and this is the only book she wrote, right? Then the movie's great. Um, the movie's about racism. And there's, uh, I remember well, there's a, um, a young black fellow who's being tried for something he didn't do. And it, as a viewer of the audience, you're thinking, how could these people be so biased and racist? And, 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 and you're, you just can't fathom it, right? The subplot in the story is the kids have a neighbor, Boo Radley, and they're sort of totally afraid. He's the boogeyman. And as the story unfolds, and the audience is super afraid of him, and you're like horrified of this Boo Radley guy. And you're thinking, man, this is kind of crazy, but that guy's, you know, evil for sure. By the end of the movie, he ends up being the sweetest man possible. And I thought, well, that's brilliant filmmaking because you look at them and go, how could they be racist towards this young black kid? Meanwhile, as the audience, you were racist towards this guy, Boo Radley, because you didn't know enough about him. And it was the ignorance. And, and to me, that's like perfect storytelling. We were actually sucked into being racist and now we can suddenly relate to why other people can be racist and it has to do with ignorance and it's just those layers is like what makes storytelling amazing and you know you can do it even more in, in movies with with those kind of layers but you know it all starts with the writing and then it comes to the next level which is the which is the movie um for me that's the way i look at it obviously books stand on their own um yeah so um i don't know how i got that tangent but that that's sort of a model so I made the movie Around the World in 80 Days and I used that sort of template. I wanted the movie be about travel and how it opens you up because I've traveled my whole life and, and I think a lot of Americans didn't travel enough and the more you travel, the more you get more, you know, tolerant and, and understanding of other cultures and you're suddenly not fearful and it just makes you a better person and makes you more well-rounded. And in the story, Phileas Fogg is an inventor and he's up against the uh, Royal Academy of Science, and they believe that everything that could be invented has already been invented. And he thinks, how could these guys be so pig-headed and, and, and not believe this? And he gets in this adventure to go around the world. Meanwhile, he, in his own right, is really pig-headed and closed-minded and, and isn't open to art and all these other things. But he goes on this journey around the world. He meets Jackie Chan, plays Passport 2. He meets a French artist. He, he doesn't even know what art is, and he thinks it's crazy and stupid and a waste of time. By the end of the movie, he becomes a full rounded person. He gets to fully realize his dream that a uh, man can fly. And he they, uh, wins to bet on a flying machine. I embellished the original book and movie. And, and to me, it was the same. I used um, uh, um, To Kill a Mockingbird in that make him see them as one way and then realize he himself was as, as closed minded as they were. So that, that kind of like double layer thing is a great device that you can use in storytelling. And, and uh, so yeah, I, I, I like that kind of stuff when there's layers going on like that.